Well, I think it's time we ask ourselves if we still know the freedoms that were intended for us by the founding fathers. Not too long ago. Trust me, government asks that we concentrate our hopes and dreams on one man. That we trust him to do what's best for us. Well, my view of government places trust not in one person or one party, but in those values that transcend persons and parties. Our citizens are abused or attacked anywhere in the world on the direct orders of a hostile regime we will respond so long terrorism is the preferred weapon of weak and evil men and as Edmund Burke reminded us in order for evil to succeed it's only necessary that good men do nothing I'll tell you where I stand I do not favor a peacetime draft or registration but I do favor pay and benefit levels that will attract and keep highly motivated men and women in our volunteer forces. I think we're for telling our senior citizens that no one in this country should be denied medical care because of a lack of funds. But I think we're against forcing all citizens, regardless of need, into a compulsory government program. We're for a provision that destitution should not follow unemployment by reason of old age. And to that end, we've accepted Social Security as a step toward meeting the problem. But we're against those entrusted with this program when they practice deception regarding its fiscal shortcomings. When they charge that any criticism of the program means that we want to end payments to those people who depend on them for a livelihood. They've called it in. Conservation is not the sole answer to our energy needs. America must get to work producing more energy. Large amounts of oil and natural gas lay beneath our land and off our shores untouched because the present administration seems to believe the American people would rather see more regulation, more taxes and more controls than more energy. Ours will be, we have to move ahead, but we're not going to leave anyone behind. <laughs>